Hi, I'm Derek Parra, Olympic gold and silver medalist from the 2002 uh, Olympics here in Salt Lake City. Uh, gold and silver medalist in speed skating. And uh, I met Mitt actually at the games, uh, at, the, at the closing ceremonies. I, th I thought that was the last time I'd see him. I was like, hey, thanks, nice to meet you, see you later, Mitt, nice to meet you, and that was it. In the 0405 skating season, I came back from the World Championship. Our landlord at that point told us he had three days to move out because he sold the place where we were gone. We were gone for seven weeks and he had sold it, so we had nowhere to go. So we started packing our stuff in boxes and moving, you know, trying to move out. Immediately I started calling people that I knew in the Park City area to see if they had a room I could rent. No, no, I don't think so. No, that's my mother-in-law's you know, quarters. I'm not gonna let her, no, I have to keep it open in case she comes to visit, that kind of thing, you know. And I was scrambling around, days were going by, and actually a friend of mine said, hey, why don't you call? Uh, Mitt and Ann Romney, and so he gave me the number. I, I call up and hi, you know, Ann. I talked to Ann. This is this is Derek. Um, I was wondering if you, you know, had any you knew anybody that I that I could rent a room from. I know you, you find some people in the area, that kind of thing. And she goes, okay, well, I'll I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, let me call some friends and I'll get back to you. Sure enough, uh, the next day she calls me back and she says, uh, you know, I was talking with Mitt and and um, we thought, why don't you just live at our place? And that's where I really got to know Mitt. Uh, they had a family reunion while I was there. Uh, their kids were coming in and out, you know, from time to time, and I kind of just watched the house. I, I don't talk about this a lot, but what really, I think, tied me to Mitt uh, and his family was during that time, unfortunately, I went through, I believe, the, the worst emotional experience of my life. I went through divorce. It's a horrible experience, and uh, it was at that time that I was dealing with this that Mitt and Ann and the family came, came to my side. They were there. At first, they they opened their, their, their doors to me, their home to me. And then as I was going through this experience, they, they opened their, their arms to me and then eventually opened their hearts to me. Uh, there were times where we would sit down and we were just crying. I, was, I remember crying. And I remember Anne holding my hand, uh, you know, mid sitting in front of me. And I remember I was sitting there crying with them, and them ensuring me that life will get better, you know, that things will, will turn around and I've got to keep my spirits up. And they were there for me. So in my time of need, they were there for me. To the very core, I believe, Mitt's simply a great man.